If you saw Jesus praying to the Father, who would you worship? Jesus or the Father? You have to pick one. Which one? Jesus or the Father? Answer me. So when are you going to come back home to Jesus, the one who loves you, and stop this nonsense about us wrong? So apparently worshipping the God that Jesus himself worshipped is considered nonsense. So my question for Christians is, if you were to witness Christ falling on his face and praying to God, in that moment, would you worship Jesus, or would you worship the God that Jesus is worshipping? Mmm, Muslims love using false premises and false dichotomies. First, I want you guys to understand the tactics these Muslim apologists love to use. You'll see them use this in formal debates and they especially love praying and unassuming Christians that aren't well versed in this or maybe just haven't thought through some of these questions. That's why I want to encourage you guys to study the scriptures and be aware of the debate tactics others may use to try and trap you when challenging your faith. First, he builds a false premise by leading with a presupposition that Muslims and Christians worship the same God. We Muslims are just worshipping the God that Jesus himself worshipped. And then he creates a false dichotomy by asking a question where you only have two options. If you saw Jesus praying to the Father, who would you worship? Jesus or the Father? You have to pick one! Which one? Jesus or the Father? Answer me! He pretty much took the age-old question that every Muslim apologist tries to stump you with and rephrase it in a classic Muslim debate style by building a false premise and presenting a false dichotomy. And the age-old question is, if Jesus is God, why would God be praying to God? Well, there are many answers. This question has been addressed by just about every Christian theologian in church history. Here's my answer. Jesus is fully God and fully human. You might ask, how can someone be fully God and fully human? Well, God can. And if you don't think he can, then you're denying the nature of God, which is, he can do anything. Otherwise, he wouldn't be God if he was limited. Philippians 2, 6 through 8 states he was God, but he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant. John 1, 14 says God came down in the form of Jesus and walked among us. So Jesus, God incarnate, while walking on the earth, voluntarily accepted the limitations of being a human being. Therefore, he prayed like us, ate like us, and drank like us in order to fully encompass what it is to be human. He set for us the perfect example. By praying to the Father, he shows his submission to the Father's will. By God coming down to earth, living the perfect life, going to the cross, and paying the penalty for sin. That's why Jesus being God prays to the Father, because he was in the flesh to where he voluntarily limited himself. Submitted to the Father's will by paying the penalty as a perfect sacrifice for sin, and set an example for us to always communicate with God through prayer. If you like the content, like, share, comment, subscribe for more, and follow my social medias in the description below. I'll see you guys next time, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you.